and check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northwest there. Yeah, we got some cloud cover out there, no doubt about that, but uh, the sun tries to peek through occasionally. 24 degrees is our current daytime high. Our low was 12 degrees and we hit that at 5 a.m. and the humidity level then was at 98-99%. So it's been elevated all day but gradually going down. Now it's at 57%. Our barometric pressure is falling a little bit. Our winds are very, very light right now. All across the province you can see some pretty healthy temperatures here. Feeling a little muggy in some areas that still have that elevated humidity level. So that's kind of that lingering feeling of thunder shower activity uh, is in the mix there as well. And certainly we do have convective energy that we are watching continue to develop and push off the mountains. That seems to be our summer pattern. Pink are our severe thunderstorm uh, watches and then the yellow area is the uh, severe thunderstorm warning area and we're already seeing some thunder cells pushing off. We've got a couple uh, smaller ones between Claire's Home and High River that we've been watching kind of develop. Uh, haven't turned into anything very serious this afternoon but uh, the possibility of that continuing into the evening hours certainly is there and you can see just that development. We've got some weak low uh, up Upper low pressure centers that have kind of rotated up against continental divide and so the convective energy there higher uh, humidity levels a little pull down of a cooler northerly flow in the upper levels uh, helps to trigger these uh, late in the afternoon early evening thunder showers so just keeping an eye on that uh, we've got some heat related activity the radar imagery is is interpreting some of these warmer temperatures as active weather we're not really seeing that although there is some spotty showers attached to some of those areas but not real active weather but as as we get into further into the week, we are looking at the skies clearing out area of high pressure starts to dominate for the next few days, not ruling out the chance of a late day thunder shower when you get into the warm temperatures that we're going to be seeing uh, later in the week. Uh, sometimes you, you don't need a system to move through as we're seeing today. It's just daytime heating and some leftover instability triggering those late day thunder showers. 20 degrees in St. John's right now. Big low pressure center is going to be clipping the actually the, the northern edge of, uh, of the Maritimes and then parts of southern Quebec and then moving into uh, Newfoundland for heavy rainfall and then scattered showers through the rest of the Maritimes. Nice out west, 23 degrees in Winnipeg, 24 and 26 in Regina and Saskatoon, 25 in Edmonton, 31 in Kelowna. Lucky you if you're heading to BC on holidays. We've got a sun and cloud mix in Vancouver and sun and cloud is dominating. Uh, the weather situation in the northern sectors as well. East Kootenai, you're looking at that chance of thunder shower activity tonight, 13 for a low, 30 degrees for a daytime high tomorrow, sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day. Crow's Nest Pass, that chance of evening thunder shower activity tonight, 28 for a daytime high tomorrow, and you're looking at lots of sunshine. And then for Medicine Hat, that chance of evening thunder shower tonight, 32 degrees for a daytime high tomorrow, lots of sunshine for you. And here in Lethbridge, we have a chance of thunder shower activity tonight. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. 29 degrees for a daytime high. But you know, just kind of keep in the back of your mind that those kind of numbers can trigger a late day thunder shower or early evening thunder shower, though it's not officially in the forecast right now. But look at those numbers. If you've got, we said this yesterday, if you've got this week off, lucky you because you really picked a good one if you like the warmer temperatures. And even as we get into the weekend, uh, more average temperatures for this time of year, but still really, really pleasant. Now, if uh, you're going to be trimming your your dog's nails and grooming your your pet especially at this time of the year when they're out running around you want to make sure that their that their feet are all healthy and their paws as well nails if your dog does not like having its nails trimmed you can really struggle with the dog and maybe risk breaking it creating some bleeding and an infection it's worthwhile just to go to your pet store get some advice about dremels or maybe taking a trip to your vets and uh, having them take care of that and that is our focus on safety message for this week talk to you tomorrow on Twitter and Facebook and here here at 5 p.m. Have a good night.